In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can run your first Cypress animation test. So this is a continuation of the previous video. So if you haven't watched the previous video, I would suggest you go watch that video first. So from the previous video, after setting up your Cypress project, this is what the folder structure looks like in our project. And so we have several different folders that um, I want to bring to your attention. So the first folder is E2E. And this is the folder that you'll, putting, uh, you'll be putting all your testing scripts in. So later in this video, we'll be putting all our user test scripts within this folder. The second thing I want to bring to your attention is under the folder fixtures, you have this file called example.json. And in this file, you're going to have the data that you're going to be using in your automation testing. And so, for example, this can include your user login data and some other stuff as well. Under the folder support, you have two more uh, different, uh, different files that are pretty important. And these are customer functions. And so these you'll see later on that we have to uh, modify in ourselves um, in order to run our test. And finally, you have your Cypress config file as well. And this is for configuring the test. And so these folders are uh, very important for your test script in Cypress. So what we'll be doing in this video is we'll first be adding a folder called my scripts under the E2E folder. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add our own script to test our own things. And generally these scripts, they follow this sort of format. So their content contains some describe uh, and then some it statements for different uh, tests. And then what we're going to be doing is we're also going to configure our project uh, by setting the base URL to the URL that we'll be visiting. And within um, the commands.js, we're also going to be adding some login functions that we can use. And you see here, um, these login functions will allow you to log in and authenticate within a page. And so here I have what uh, is open. So this is basically the project that we were left off with after setting up this project for Cypress. And so let's just go through some general structuring of this project first. So first we notice that there's an E2E folder. And within the E2E folder, we actually have two folders already. And this is the getting started folder and the advanced examples folder. And these two folders contain different tests that you can run. And these are examples that come with Cypress. And we showed you how these run uh, last time in our previous video. Now, we'll be adding our own folder on this E2E folder to uh, create our own test scripts uh, in this video. The second thing is under the folder fixture right here, you have the example.json folder. And you see this contains things such as name, email, and body. Um, but we'll show you how this works later. You also have the folder support. And within the folder support, you have commands.js and e2e.js. Uh, and these two files are important as well. And finally, you have cypress.config.javascript file as well, which sets the configuration for this project. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going under e2e. Uh, and I'm going to create a folder called my script. So I click uh, create new folder and I'm just going to name it my script. And now within this folder, let's start with our first test. So I'm going to create a new file uh, and it's going to be a JavaScript file. I'm going to name it ADM lucid dot CY dot JavaScript. Now I will create that. I'm not going to put anything in here first. I'm going to first configure everything else first. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this example.json file. And I'm going to think if I want, uh, and I'm going to see if I want to add anything into this file. For this video, we're not going to be using this file. But in the future videos, if you needed some data, then you would put it in this example.json file. So I'm going to go ahead and close this because I won't be modifying that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go under uh, the support folder. And I'm going to open the commands.js. Uh, and for commands.js, I will be adding something in here. And I'm going to add that first. So I'm going to write type cypress dot commands dot add. Um, and then I'm going to add the login feature. So this would be login. And then actually, I'm going to add it here. So this would be email and password, which is what we'll pass in. And then we'll do this. And I'll actually reformat this so it looks proper. 
And then within here, what we'll be doing in this function. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go to uh, the URL. Uh, so we'll set this. Uh, this is relative URL. So I'm just going to click. I'm just going to enter this URL for now. It'll make sense later. What uh, after I, I uh, set the base URL in our project. And then I'm going to do get, and then it'll be input email. And then dot type will be email. And then get will be input password. Dot type password. Oops, typo right here. And then get will do login dash submit. So I already know the class or the, URL, uh, the ID of this button. So I'm just going to just hard code it. And then we'll just click the submit button. And then this will basically input our email, input our password. And then we'll basically click the submit button afterwards. And so this is the login function they'll be using. So that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. The next thing I'm going to edit is the E2E file right here. And so this E2E file, um, I'm not going to edit anything, but I want to bring to your attention this line statement right here. This basically imports your commands uh, for later on. So this will import uh, this command so that you can run it in the project. So I'm not going to edit anything here. So these two are now done. The final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set our base URL to something different uh, so that we can uh, save some code later on. So I'm going to set base URL and I'm going to set that to Basically, let me set it to uh, HTTPS www.admlucid.com. Yeah, I'm going to add a comma after. Go. And so we have the base URL. And so now the project knows that this is the base URL and this will be what we start with. Okay, so now we can finally go to our script and write some uh, code uh, and some tests. So let me start with um, with a simple example. So I'm going to first do this and have the syntax. So this will be uh, Cypress. I'm going to name it Cypress test. And I'm not going to pass any parameters into here. I'm going to do that. There we go. Then I'm going to start with my first test. So I'm going to write it, and this will be navigate um, to ADM Lucid. So I'm going to name this navigate to ADM Lucid. I'm going to do this, pass that, do this. Oops, I made a syntax error. So uh, actually, I did not. So I'll do that actually. Do that. And this should close that right there. And within here, I have two options, two methods that I can use to basically visit the same website. So first thing I can do is I can type the full URL. Basically, that is um, HTTPS www.admlucid.com. But one thing that you have to remember is we set our base URL to this. So another thing you can do is you can just do visit, and you just set the base URL as what you want to visit. So I'm actually going to comment out this first part and show you that it works by just visiting the base URL. And then I'm going to do some assert statements to make sure that I'm looking at the right page. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, dot should. So this basically is some assertion. And then I'm going to see if it contains, uh, if the URL contains uh, the text ADM Lucid. And so how am I doing that? I'm basically saying grab the URL and this should contain ADM Lucid within it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a different statement. So sh should as well. Uh, but this time I'm going to use equals. So this is not contains, this is equals. 
So we're equating that the uh, the title on the home page is uh, this right here. Uh, there we go. And then the next thing I want to do, so this is the first test. Um, and then the second test I'm going to write, same, same syntax, write it. Um, and I'll name my test. This will be logging in to ADM uh, Lucid. Uh, no parameters. Do this, do that. And then I'm just going to do login. And what is login? Well, this we actually passed in as a parameter from this commands right here. So this is login. And so we can just type dot login and basically it'll use that command. And so the two parameters we have is basically test to, I'm going to use this uh, URL, dot com. And then the next thing we can do is we can just write some random password. So I want this to fail. So um, this I expect to fail as well. So here we go. So this is what we have. And then we can save this. So now how do you run this? Well, what you can do is you can just write mpx. I'm just going to clear this line. So I'm going to write mpx, cypress, and then open. So it will open up Cypress. I'm going to go to E2E testing for this video. I'm going to use Chrome because that's what I prefer. And then now we have it open. So these are the two folders that come as examples. And this is the folder that we want. So I'm going to open up this folder. It will run both tests. So basically, for the first test, it will assert if um, this is true, um, if it includes ADM Lucid, and it finds that it is true. For the second statement, we actually see that it's not true. It doesn't equal to homepage uh, ADM Lucid. And so that's actually an error that we found. Um, and that's something that we'll try to fix later on now. And then in order for the login, we see that um, it will click here. It finds the input email. It'll type the email. It'll find the input password uh, slot. It'll type the password. It'll find the button. It'll click it. And it'll try to submit it. Um, but this is an invalid login attempt. But nonetheless, this test still works because it's just an invalid login attempt, but it's still good. And so um, we can try to fix this statement here now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to here, and I'm going to look at this code right here now. It says that this is invalid. So what I can do is I can see what is wrong with it. I'm actually going to copy and uh, paste uh, the text that I think is correct. Um, so actually, let me go back to here and check out the home page uh, right here. Um, so this is the home page uh, right here is this is the assertion error. So I'm going to see this. This is the error that we get. So I'm actually going to go here and let me paste the proper one. And so yeah, we're going to try to spot the, the error here. And we see that uh, this is cy.url should contains ADM Lucid. This one is also URL should equal to this. But we actually want to check if the title is equal to this. So if I switch to title, this should work. So I'm going to go ahead and run, uh, go to my Cypress test right here. And I'm going to check out this. I'm going to rerun it, all of it, all my tests by using this button. And now we see that the first one, it works properly. It's able to assert that the URL is uh, contains ADM Lucid and that the homepage title is equal to this. So yeah, so this is an example of how you can write your own ADM Lucid code. Uh, you can write your own Cypress code uh, for automation testing. We'll uh, subscribe to our channel because we'll be posting some more videos uh, of more in-depth tests as well. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a like and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.